The time is right to think of the car, about the car of the future. At Mercedes-Benz, we did rethink the car from scratch. We have put our thoughts together in one all-new visionary concept car that offers you exactly that future luxury. Space, time, and privacy. And that is why we dubbed our concept car Luxury in Motion. Making it its world premiere tonight, I'm proud to introduce Mercedes-Benz Vision of the Car of the Future. Terrific. I can imagine. I envy you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Gary. Hope you enjoyed the ride through the desert and the city. Oh, wow. I enjoyed it tremendously. That is futuristic. You know, it's a very odd feeling to totally give up the wheel to a robot. But you know what? It was great just the same. And what I really want to say is I so much appreciate that Mercedes is the very first company ever to actually design a concept car exclusively for CES. Thank you. Well, as I understand, CES is all about future trends. So that is our contribution. Well, yeah, and I certainly can't wait to see that vision realized on the road. But I have a question. I was wondering, the car still has a steering wheel. Yeah. So could I do the driving by myself? Uh, sure, Gary. When I was uh, here about three years ago at the CES, um, our theme was the Declaration of Independence. We have come along a long way since then, but still, the user of an autonomous Mercedes-Benz will always remain to be the decision maker. So that is true independence. I understand it, and I, that makes sense to me. Well, there will always be occasions where the driver just wants to drive, but there will be other occasions where much 
better prefers to hand the steering wheel over to someone else, to the robot. So you're not afraid that Mercedes is just going to end up making subway trains? Well, Gary, I don't know what kind of subway trains you are using, but I believe there's a big difference. I mean, ever seen a subway train with 26-inch custom uh, wheels? This is much like the difference between, a, uh, let's say, a student dorm you share with uh, your roommates and an uh, exclusive condo. Agreed. Well, thanks so much for the preview and bringing this phenomenal car to CES. Enjoy. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. All the best. Take care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mercedes-Benz vision of the car of the future. This is our concept car, F015 Luxury in Motion. And it will have, it's basically a revolution. It's an automotive revolution, and it will have a tremendous impact. Cars will be rethought in terms of shape and design, in terms of outside interaction, and in terms of inside interaction. Let's have a closer look, starting with the outer appearance. Cambot, would you please come here and make yourself useful to show these people a little bit with close-ups what we can see in this car. Let's begin with the new shape and design. Two words here, clean and clear. As you can see, we move the big wheels to the very edges of the car. This is what we call the carriage concept. You're already familiar with that shape. I admit, we first had this idea back in 1893 with the Benz Motorwagen. So we are now going back to the future. The idea is about designing the entire car around the advantages of autonomous driving while making use of the added room you have in an electric car without the engine and transmission. The result is a luxurious living space in between those giant, shiny 26-inch custom wheels. A space that is precious, private, and individual. It builds on the concept of a third place, in addition to home and office. A place where we will actively want to and enjoy hanging out. Other spaces of our lives have gone through big change before. Just think, for example, about how bathroom layouts have transformed. They've gone from a room with a very specific purpose to a private space in which you want to spend time and relax in. Or remember how offices change from private caves from which one would rule the employees or to which one would secretly retreat to more open spaces that encourage interaction. As a next step in this progression, we see cars widening their functionality to be a third place to relax, work, play. In horse-drawn carriages, passengers sat face to face. People had time for conversation, to read a newspaper, or to catch up to lost sleep. And we are determined to bring this concept back. Along the way, we are also revitalizing a feature that smart horses offered back in the days before cars. Think about a long day at the office, sitting through one meeting after the other. Back in the day, a smart horse was able to smell the barn and take its owner home safely and autonomously. So will F015. Talking about horses takes me to the next and probably most important aspect of autonomous driving, interaction. Even if you are not a horse whisperer, you will roughly be able to detect whether the animal is approaching you in a friendly or aggressive mood. This does not necessarily hold true for a car. The blue color indicates that F015 is in autonomous driving mode. But if it pulls up, you can judge from its facial expression whether it recognizes you or not. Now, there's a reason, of course, why most robots do have puppy-like man-shaped faces, just like Cambot. They look familiar and friendly to real humans and thus create trust and social acceptance. 
Autonomous driving cars need to achieve this as well. But I think you agree that a happy smiley face would really look weird on a luxury sedan. That's why autonomous cars will need to find different ways to actively communicate with the outside world. FO15 has a suggestion here as well. Let's see this. The LED lights follow the movement and thereby indicate, all right, all right I can see you. In addition, the back of the car alerts the upcoming traffic that there's a person ahead. This feature alone will increase road safety, especially with small children playing or crossing in front of this car. As you can see, this car will take responsibility. Let's think about this one step further. If this car knows exactly what's going on in its surroundings, why not use its unique senses to help others? The elderly, for instance. This car is not only able to determine when it's safe to cross the road, it can even display a crosswalk on the street so people of any age get the look and feel that is familiar. It also actively tells you when it is safe to start walking across. And society gets more safety on the road, even when the car is in a park position. As you can see, the car of the future is really good looking, smart, polite, and helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we will get along just fine. But this car does not only take design and interaction to another level, it also has a lot to offer on the inside. Let's have a look at that interior now. At first, at first glance in the interior, you will realize the F015 has fewer buttons than your smartphone, zero. What we have seen on the outside continues on the inside. See, sometimes it still needs a human. Here we go. Thank you. Again, it's clean and clear, digital and real world planned without boundaries. Windows can be used as screens. The car also features a steering wheel, which again represents the driver's freedom of choice to drive or chill while on the go. By the way, as the car will drive itself in most circumstances, we won't talk about drivers anymore. It's more about guests, travelers, passengers, or let's say conductors, like the conductor of an orchestra. What you cannot see is a driver's seat. Or the other way around, you can see a total of four driver seats Every passenger can be the one in control with a free-floating control unit. You could now call this a purely democratic feature with the potential to calm down a lot of family arguments on the way to their holiday destination. Or the opposite, because there will still be exactly one person in charge and control at a time. No matter where they sit. Everything is steered by gestures, eye-tracking and further interactive elements that surround the passengers. Plus, I don't have to tell you that this car offers every bit of state-of-the-art technology in video conferencing, social media integration, and whatever else you might desire to spend time with on the road in the future. I brought a movie along to show you some of the features in more detail.
As you can see, the ultra high res screens in the side windows may be used to display personal information for each passenger, including web research, contacts, emails, video conferences, or whatever else. Side window screens are controlled by proximity touch, which is activated as a hand or finger approaches the ultra-sensitive screen. All relevant driving information surrounding traffic and points of interest can be viewed on the big dashboard screen or head-up display. Key functions are controlled by eye tracking. Once activated, choices are made by gestures. No touching necessary. As you can see, Mercedes-Benz F015 Luxury in Motion does not only look different from the outside, it also offers completely new opportunities to spend and enjoy the time commuting from home to the office and back. Because, as I said before, quality time and private space will be the true luxury goods in the future. And F015 Luxury in Motion is the third place that offers you both. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the evening before the world's greatest consumer electronics show opens its doors. You have all come here to see what's next. And this is what we at Mercedes believe will be next in terms of the car's design, concept and communication. Early visions of autonomous driving go way back, much like this car of the future from the 1950s. It's the old American dream of freedom and mobility. Mankind has been dreaming about autonomous cars since the 1950s. At Mercedes, we made the early vision of driving without a horse a reality. And we also want to make the option of driving without a driver a reality. We are simply not big into just dreaming. Step by step, we have been developing and implementing our vision of autonomous driving since the early 90s. Personally, I first saw this picture some decades ago. And it really feels great to work for a company that is crazy enough to finally bring this vision of driver-free mobility closer to reality. And these two young people here are more than just excellent models. They are, in fact, members of our R&D team in Silicon Valley. And they did their share to make the F015 happen. Thank you and all the others, people involved in this project, for your hard work. You are really making me proud. You are invited to have a closer look or to use the QR code you can find in the back of the car to get more information. I hope to see all of you at our CS booth tomorrow where we are going to show more exciting Mercedes products. And now I would like to welcome my colleagues Thomas Weber, Herbert Kohler and Gordon Wagner here on stage. Thank you very much and have fun at CS.